Hey, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to convert from Celsius into Fahrenheit and also from Fahrenheit into Celsius. So the formula that we can use is F is equal to 1.8 times C plus 32. And F is Fahrenheit and C is the Celsius. So let's say you want to convert from 20 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. With our formula, we can find F using the given C, which is 20. So what we can do is we can substitute the number 20 into C, so we can find F. Therefore, this whole thing will be equal to 1.8 times 20 plus 32. So the next step is to multiply these two together, and we know that 1.8 times 20 gives us 36. And then we take 36 plus 32. So what is 36 plus 32? Well, that's going to give us 68. So what this means is 20 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is basically our answer. Now let's try converting from 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius. So we can use the same formula. And this time, we're looking for C. So we know that F is 98.6. So we can substitute that number into F. Now, the next step is to isolate the variable C on one side of the equation. And to do that, we need to subtract both sides by 32. So 32 minus 32 is 0, right? So these two cancel out. Now, on the left side, it is 98.6 minus 32. And we know that 98.6 minus 32 is the same thing as 66.6 .6. and the last step is just dividing both sides by 1.8 so 66.6 .6 divided by 1.8 gives us 37 and what this means is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is the same thing as 37 degrees Celsius and this is basically our answer at what temperature is the degrees in Fahrenheit the same as the degree in Celsius so what this means is the number in Fahrenheit is the same number as the number in Celsius. So how do we find this? Well, we can use the formula. And this time, we're trying to find the number where Fahrenheit is equal to Celsius. So to do that, we can set both of these variables into x. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract both sides by 1.8. By doing this, I will have x on one side of the equation. So 1.8x minus 1.8x is 0, so these two cancel out. And over here, it is x minus 1.8x. And x minus 1.8x is the same thing as negative 0.8x. Now, to find x, we only need to divide both sides by negative 0.8. And that will give us negative 40. So what this means is negative 40 degrees in Fahrenheit is equal to negative 40 degrees Celsius. Let's do one last problem. Which one is hotter? Is it the 58 degrees Fahrenheit or is it the 17 degrees Celsius? So what I'm going to do is convert everything into Celsius and then we can compare these two numbers. So I'm going to convert 58 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius. F is equal to 58, and then we solve for C. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract both sides by 32. So 32 minus 32 is going to cancel itself out. Over here, we have 58 minus 32, which is 26. And the last step is to divide both sides by 1.8. And 26 divided by 1.8 is going to be 14.4 degrees Celsius. So what this means is 58 degrees in Fahrenheit is the same thing as 14.4 degrees Celsius. So again, which one is hotter? Is it the 14.4 degrees Celsius or is it the 17 degrees Celsius? Well, it is obviously this one because 17 degrees Celsius is of course hotter than 14.4 degrees Celsius. Now it is your turn, so I would like you to convert 100 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. 
And fun fact, water boils when the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. So at what temperature does water boil when it is in Fahrenheit? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment sections below and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you guys next time.